What's up guys? Today I will be reviewing the Bay Box travel jacket, which is the one I'm wearing right now. So this travel jacket I found on Kickstarter and it claimed to be the best travel jacket ever created. So this is going to be a full review of this jacket. Now this one I got here is the sweatshirt version um, and it's it said it's going to be like grey but it's more kind of black or, or sort of a dark grey type thing. And so this has a ton of different features uh, specifically designed for travel. So I'm going to go through them one at a time. First feature is the hoodie. Now it's a big hoodie but what they claim in the video is it's got an eye holder which is this whole section here which is supposed to cover your eyes. So it's supposed to be like this type thing but they've just sort of made it way too big. So you know you can, I'm not sure if you can see in the video but it's like you know, it's this whole, it's this whole other section and you can kind of just sort of tuck it in a little bit and sort of put it there, but still it, it's wanting to come down. It's wanting to like come down like this and so it's kind of annoying, you know, so you can, and you can kind of wear it like this, but then you just look like a retard, so yeah, it's a big hoodie, but <laughs> It, it doesn't really, it's more inconvenient than convenient in terms of what it's supposed to do, which is cover your eye. So I would still use just a standard eye patch for when you're traveling. So that's definitely not a good thing about this jacket. Next feature is the hand warmers. So inside the sleeves, there's these hand warmers like so. So they're just designed to keep your arms warm, they're stitched into the sleeve so you can't remove them and these are sort of good and bad. So I like that one, they do keep your hands warm and they're always there and available. Um, two, if you sort of take it off and you know you just sort of push it up or you fold it in, it makes like a little bundle in your wrist so it stops any cold air from going out your wrist or any wind or anything like that. So in terms of keeping you warm, keeping you heated, um, they do work. Some of the downsides is that, you know, if you have them out and you put, and you just sort of try and, you know, scrunch it up on your wrist, it sort of always just comes forward and it gets in the way if, like when you're washing your hands or if you're doing things, you don't want to get this, you know, cuff dirty, sleeve dirty, um, you know, it can be annoying. So what you have to do is you have to, you know, constantly be pushing it in there to, to get it out of the way. So that's sort of good and bad. And now, where this jumper really excels at is the pockets. It's got a pocket for everything. It's got lots and lots of pockets. So the first pocket is this one here. This is supposedly for your passport. So passport sort of easily fits in here. Does up nicely, it's right there. So that is very handy for your passport. That's plus. Next pocket is this one here, which comes across. And it's another one. Now this one claims to be a drinks pocket for your drink, like your can of coke or something. And like, I mean, you can, you can sort of fit a drink in there. It's kind of awkward and it looks weird and you've got this big drink just sitting on your chest. So I wouldn't use it for a drink pocket, but it is handy for other stuff like, your, you know, headphones or your phone, something, you know, you can sort of put that in there. You know, so, so this is just a handy general pocket. And it's good for theft because, you know, it's on the front of your body, so people aren't going to try and steal out of a zip from the front of your body. So next up, we've got inside pockets. So inside, you've got this one pocket here. Now this is, if you can see, it's a little bit more waterproof than the outside pockets. So it's not exactly cloth, it's more like, in a, more like a waterproof material. So if you want to put stuff in there that you don't want to get wet, say like your phone then you can put it in there and you know if you're running through the rain or something you can know that that's going to be pretty safe so any kind of electricals things like that that'd be good for that pocket and it's pretty big like you can sort of you can fit a lot in there now on the other side you've got a glasses pocket so if you've got a pair of sunnies you can just sort of fit them in here like this and they just sort of disappear now in the glasses pocket you've got a little ring if you wanted to just attach just the arm around it and it can just sort of hang on the inside of your jumper you know and I probably wouldn't put my glasses in there just because 
I would, it's kind of uncomfortable, like it's right on your chest and I'll be, I'll be worried about breaking them. I'll be worried about, you know, knocking into something and like popping out a lens or something like that. And now the good thing about this one is it also comes with a cloth you can wipe your sunnies with or your phone or anything like that. So that's the other bonus and that's attached with a string so you're never going to lose that. Now for lower pockets, you've got these ones here which are two just cloth pockets that is designed for say your wallet can go in there. You know, you can put your passport in there if you want to, that can fit. It's like so, you can put a phone, you know, that fits easily. On the other side, you've got a big pocket with a zip. Zips down here, and that's really big. And this one's designed for an iPad. I don't have an iPad, but I do have a Kindle, and the Kindle can fit in there very easily. Like so. You can sort of zip it up. And he's got two hand pockets on the side like so. Now, these hand pockets are good, except they are a little bit short from here to here. It's quite short. So, you know, if I've got a small phone here, and and it fits in, but, you know, if you're leaning over, it can be, like, hanging out. And I've, I've had this before, where I've had a case on the phone, making it bigger, and I've leant over and the phone's fallen out, because it just doesn't have this much, you know, this could be higher up here. It's pretty shallow. So the front pockets could be a little bit better, but in general, the pockets are really good on this jacket. And so that's all the pockets, and there is a lot of pockets. So that's kind of handy just because, you know, if you're traveling and you're putting lots of things in your pocket, you want to keep it sort of on your person, especially if your bag's sort of packed full of lots of stuff, you can carry extra stuff on your person type thing. It's good for theft because it's got a lot of zippers, so it's hard for people to steal stuff. So if you want to keep, you know, your passport safe or your wallet safe, um, you know, on the inside of your jacket, that's very good. And also another thing about these pockets is you can have like everything you want to travel with, like on the plane, and when you're going through security, you always have to take off your jacket and you have to take out all your electronics, things like that. So when all my phones and passports and things are in my pants pockets, I have to pull them all out, all of my change and everything, put it in the basket for it to go through uh, security. But if you have all of that stuff in this jacket, then you can just take off this jacket, it's got everything in there, it's all secure, put it in, go through. So that'll be a lot faster, you know, when going through security and just not having to empty all of your pockets all the time. So that's a really good feature in terms of this, using it for travel. This jacket also comes with a little stylus pen. Um, so it's got a style little button on one end, and if you pull it out, it turns into a pen that you can use on the other end. And it just sort of goes together, it's got a little clip. So you can just sort of clip it on one of these, you know, rings and, and have it there. So it's just sort of hanging there. But for me, I've always got a, I've always got a real pen handy and I don't need the stylus for anything. So I'm probably not going to be traveling with this bad boy. The other thing this jacket comes with is a neck pillow. And so this neck pillow, you know, originally comes, it can fit inside this hoodie. So there's like a little compartment at the back of this where it can fit inside. But when it is inside, it's pretty bulky and pretty heavy in terms of having it in your hood. So unless you're flying or, you know, on a bus or a train when you're actually going to use this, um, you won't need it in your jacket. So I just took it out. Um, but it is pretty cool for when you are traveling and you do want a neck pillow, this can work. So it's inflatable, which is good. And you open up this zipper part and it's got the mouthpiece you blow into. And it's a really cool design because... One, it's super big, and you literally only need one breath to fill it up completely. And then it's got an auto-locking system, so once you blow in, the pressure seals it, and it seals it so you can, you know, put your head on it and stuff, so there's no, like, little button of those other inflatable neck pillows you have to worry about. So you can inflate it super fast, and it seals. So you just... So it literally just took one breath, and then it seals automatically. And then you can just zip up this part over the top of it. And you've got your neck pillow ready to go for travel. It's even got some little buttons here. It's pretty big, it's comfy, it's very easy to inflate. So this will definitely be traveling with me. Before I just had a sort of a crappy inflatable neck pillow thing. And this is a lot better, a lot more comfortable and a lot faster. So thumbs up for that. So all in all, 
it's a thumbs up for this jacket. I like it. It's got a lot of good pockets, a lot of good things for travel. Um, it's definitely worth the money. So if you're interested, I'll leave the link down below. And there you go. Go out and get traveling. That's it for now. Till next time. Bye.